Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, and I'm going to be playing some ARMS. I've never played this game before, never even opened it. I don't know what to expect. Let's see how we go. <laughs> um, I did play a demo of... I didn't. I haven't played a demo of this game. I played a demo of Crafted World, so I sort of knew what to expect with that one. I haven't played a demo of this game. Uh, the thumbs up grip. Okay, uh, I guess I can do that. Again, I don't know a lot about this game. I suppose if I hold it that way, I wouldn't be able to press most of the buttons. Maybe it's designed to work that way on purpose. Clever. Uh, uh, one player. Thank you. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a lot of characters already. Uh, who's cute? That's cute. It's kind of like... Diva meets Tracer. I like her. <laughs> okay, she's cute. My goodness. I don't know if these characters, like... Oh, that's cute too. Gosh. I imagine they play differently, but I don't know how they play. So, I don't really know what to expect. Um... There we go. Uh, yeah, the thumbs up grip. Okay, so you. Alright, I mean, that's a little strange, but I guess I can do that. Hey! Tilt to move, okay. Okay, so we've got motion control going on here. It's, it's reasonably comfortable. Press L to dash. Okay. Press R to jump. Okay, I can do that. Punch to punch. Oh yeah, I see. Oh yeah, I get it. Interesting. Punch with both hands to grab. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So we're looking at a... An unconventional fighting game, basically. Okay, so we guard, like that. I'm guessing we're actually fighting now because it's done some health stuff. Okay. Uh, they didn't take damage from those punches, though, so I might not be understanding this. Oh, it's still the tutorial, I think. Alright. Okay, so... This looks fun. Um, okay, I guess I can customize what weapons I'm using or something. Alright, uh, I guess I'll go with the defaults for now. I don't really know which ones are good. Oh! Oh dear. The Joy-Cons are surprisingly good at this kind of motion control. Um, I guess it's because it's, you know, much more modern than a Wiimote. Uh, I'm getting owned though. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I'm getting the idea, I think. I'm just not very good at it. Oh dear. Get up. Okay. <sighs> wow. Look how little health I had. I'm not good at this game. Okay, uh... I guess we're doing another fight. Oh, I see. It's it's best first to two sort of thing. Huh. See, if I'm moving my arm, and you can see that the character's actually moving her arm in a sort of similar motion. So it's got sort of a one-to-one -one thing going on, kind of like in Skyward Sword. And only these Joy-Cons are a lot smarter, and there's two of them instead of just the one, so you can do things like punching. 
Uh, I guess I'll stick with the revolvers. They seem to work okay. Okay, so, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a boxing game, essentially, but the controls are weird and everyone has springy arms. <laughs> I imagine you could play with regular controls, but I'm, I'm enjoying this. I don't know. I, I believe it does support playing with just, like, a regular pro controller without, without any motion gimmicks, which is good, because I know motion gimmicks frustrate a lot of people. Ah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, cute. Okay, I got three whatever that is. I don't know what that number means. Okay, what do we got? Main menu. We've got a Grand Prix mode, we've got a Versus mode. You actually have to use the... I'm using the um, left analog here, which is kind of weird because I'm holding the Joy-Cons, you know, in the thumbs up sideways position they were telling me to use. Uh, what do you think? Ten fights? That sounds like a lot. I don't want to do too much in this first video. Uh, let's look at these badges that I got. Sure did. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, so they're just like achievements, basically. Alright. That makes sense. Um, I guess I'll pick Grand Prix and see if I can just do a fight or two and then stop there. Uh, I already played as Mechanica, I should probably try another character. Uh, ooh, Twintel looks cute. Uh, easy, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is like the plot, or if it's just about to introduce the battle I'm about to do, or... Okay, so there is a bit of a plot. Sort of. Silver Screen Queen. She's cute. Okay, so, match one? I don't know if this, like, saves between matches or something. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to quit, so that this video doesn't get too long. I don't know, it depends on how long these are. Uh, I guess I'll start with the defaults. They look okay. He's using a different one on each arm, so maybe I should do the same. I don't know what that does. Is that like a health up or something? Maybe. Doing okay so far, but it is on the easiest difficulty, so that makes sense. Uh, okay, there's, there's like a bottle of stuff there. Oh, I think that fills up your um, hyper boost attack or whatever. This one. This is yellow, and I think that little triangle that's also yellow is how that works. I'm not really sure. This game is confusing. Uh, let's try some of these other attacks. Uh, how about these two? Okay, they look pretty much the same. I mean, I assume they're different, but... Whoa! How did you get that instantly? Jeez. Okay, I think this one actually shoots out birds or something. Yeah, it actually launches little birds, which is kind of cool. And this one, there's like an umbrella sort of thing. I think it's called a parasol, so same sort of thing. Well 
Hmm, alright. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's that's cute. That's cute. Is she like holding herself up with her hair or how is she staying up? <laughs> okay, there's a saving quit, so I'm gonna do a few more. Okay, Ribbon Girl's cute. Um, I'm gonna switch back to these. Maybe. Hmm. Let's try that. Okay, she's a lot more aggressive as a fighter. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> ah! Okay, the arena's actually changing shape, which is interesting. I'm not sure if you just punch those down, though. It looks like they don't stick around for long. Kind of tricky to curve your punches the way you want. That's a little fiddly. Whew, okay, that's the first time I haven't actually had to use the um, hyper move or whatever it's called. There's one that's on ZL and ZR. I'm gonna keep this the way they are. Okay, we actually still have our hyper charge. I don't know if that's just because it's the second round or. Oh my gosh, the way she walks. Cute. <laughs> okay, she actually just used her hyper and it didn't it didn't hit me at all, so I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> Sorry, Ribbon Girl. You're really, really cute, but but I'm super powerful, apparently. I don't know what those numbers are for. I, I, maybe they're badges that I'm getting, or m maybe it's something else. I don't know. Oh. Okay, now I'm fighting a slime. <laughs> Skill shot? Okay, so we gotta punch some targets. Okay, fucking smash. Okay, so instead of fighting each other, we're actually just going to be punching them. Punching the targets. Okay. Okay, but we can still hit each other, I see. Oh my goodness. That's hard. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, so that's that's a really tricky mode. Um, I got owned by a slime. <laughs> um, okay, so you have, then you get to rematch. I assume it just does the same thing again. Yeah, alright. So you actually, you actually have to win to progress. That makes sense.
Ah. I think attacking the other player actually does give you some little points, which is kind of weird. Ah. that time. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. This is just very, very hard, even though it's the easiest setting. Slimes are just powerful, I guess. <laughs> okay, one more try. Alright, so yeah, you want to try to hit as many targets as possible, obviously, but... I think you have to try to curve your punches so that you hit as much as much, much as you can in one go. But that's it's really hard. This is a hard game. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just, I'm just not good at this game. <laughs> Thanks, slime. And if I go save and quit, I assume that lets me resume from that part of the Grand Prix or something. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the other options here. Just get an idea of what this game's like. Um, so, um, skill shot? Yeah, I, no, I, I'm terrible at skill shot. Uh, so yeah, that's just like achievement sort of thing. Uh, it's a dashboard. Oh, I guess that's how you buy. No, oh, no, okay, it's that kind of thing. Okay, so it's like a competitive thing. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, uh, okay, so you can, like, upgrade everyone by spending the little monies. It's a little weird. Uh, and I assume there's, yeah, there's a ranking system and party system. And does the training option give me, like, some betterness at the game if I do that? <laughs> uh... Anyway, with Ribbon Girl. She's over here. Ribbon. Cute. Uh, oh, okay, so there's a bunch of different levels to it. I should probably start here. <laughs> oh, we're fighting the slime again. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so, I don't know if doing these training things is really helping, but, I mean, I got a, one of those money thingies for it. I don't know what those are. Uh, it looks like they're like a per character thing, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I got a badge. I'm guessing that's doing training for the first time or something. Yeah. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> 
perfect round. I mean, yeah, it was a training round, but whatever. Oh, I see, you get to pick which badge is like your avatar or whatever. I don't know what the point of that is. This is hard. <laughs> I like it, but it's it's hard, and I'm not good at it. Uh, maybe I should try different controls. I don't know. My other control methods are supported, so maybe I don't know how I would switch that up though. Let me see here. Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to tell that I'm using the Joy-Con grip. I mean, I'm not, but I don't know how it would know because the Joy-Con grip doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe if I just try pressing those buttons. I don't know, let's, let's see what happens. Uh, let's go back to another training session, I reckon. Oops. Oh, I had a two-player by accident. <laughs> uh, let's go mid Cute. Alright, so if I just hold the Joy-Cons normally like this and then drop pressing a bunch of buttons instead, does that still work? Or? Hmm. I don't know. Like, it has no way of knowing that the, the whether they're connected with the grip or not, so... Hmm. Oh, hang on, I think I just need to switch it over like this. Dual stick grips. Let's see what happens. Okay, I didn't actually do anything. How on earth does that work? Like, it has no possible way of knowing whether you have the two Joy-Cons separate or in a grip. Because they're not electrically connected in any way. Or are they? <laughs> hmm. Uh, let's try putting it in a Joy-Con grip and see what happens, I guess. Accidentally quit out of that without meaning to. Because, yeah, this isn't supposed to have any electrical connections in it. It's just like a piece of plastic that holds the Joy-Cons in a certain shape. That's what I thought, anyway. Okay, so I now... I put my Joy-Cons inside a grip. So I'm now going to... Hang on. So now it should theoretically be using the button controls instead, right? Let's see what happens. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think it is using buttons now. Yeah, see? I can I can punch for pressing that's A and pressing. My dash button, that's jump. That's oh okay, okay, so that's how that works. It's B and A for the two different fists, basically. Uh, and you have to press that to guard and you push I don't know what you push to do the that's still that's still grab, pressing both of them together. Okay, you press L and R to activate this move. Okay, okay, those controls, like, it's less cool that you're just pressing buttons instead of waving controls around, but it works. Anyway, I got I got a badge, probably for using these controls instead of the other controls or something. Let's have a look. Badges. Yeah, dual stick grip first time. Okay, that makes sense. I, I think I prefer it the other way. I don't know. Um, 
Let's try this again with the with the grips enabled because I set up right now to do it that way. See if I can beat this section using grips instead of motion controls. Uh, so yeah, I'm just mashing A and B right now, and yeah, so it's still using the right controls. Let's see how we go. Uh, let's try using these ones, see if that helps me at all. Well, my score's higher, so that's a pretty good start. I think you just curb your punches by tilting the left stick, which is kind of weird because you also use that just to move. Um, probably should actually read where it told you what, it what the controls were, so I would know exactly what it does, but I didn't. Okay, I'm making a lot more progress under this, these conditions. It seems to be much easier. Um, it's certainly easier to move around because you're just tilting the left stick instead of actually tilting the Joy-Cons themselves, which is fiddly. Yeah, I won that really easily that way. So, it looks like the non-motion controls are much easier to play with, probably. Probably. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's just sort of floating. I don't know how she's doing that. No, that, 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 that there isn't a chair. That's her hair. Okay, so. I guess this guy's like... Oh, okay. I was thinking of maybe to switch around what I was using, but, you know, I guess I can just use these. So yeah, I'm still using the um, dual stick grip with, instead of the motion. Um, I don't think the right stick does anything. Hang on. Let's have a quick look. I'm using dual stick grips. Right stick doesn't do anything. Okay. That's kind of strange. <sighs> Weird. Okay, anyway. So yeah, this is much, much easier played this way. It's a little less, I think, engaging this way, but the fact that there's like so much more control in this mode kind of makes it more compelling to play this way. <laughs> uh, oops, accidentally used a rush and then got thrown immediately. So I kind of wasted that. Oh well, doesn't matter. I imagine if you were doing like a sort of a two-player party or something, it might be fun to use the motion controls just for the for the party of it. But in regular play, you 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 want to use normal. You want to use the twin stick style. It's clearly more effective. Much easier to control. Ko, there you go. Yeah, I got two whatever those are. <laughs> um, okay, so this is match five. I don't probably don't want to do a whole Grand Prix because that would be that's ten, I think. Oh wow, Lola's cute. Sucker bunch of Lola pop. Lola picked up her quick and light jumping tricks from the fast paced world of street performance. Wait, mid air is twin Am I supposed to be fighting in mid-air? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, she's got like a shield or something. Oh, I see. Her arms have, have like a shield. Shield arm. That's a neat trick.
I think if I touch that, yeah, it charges up my, um, my, my hyper move or whatever. Whoa. Okay, so watch out for that. If you punch that shield when it's out, it actually messes you up. <laughs> Okay, the second round. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna switch to Parasol. Ah! Whoa. Okay, so her super actually like puts stuff on the screen in its Jewish view. Interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, this is pretty easy. There we go. KO. Bam. <laughs> okay, um, I might do, I might do one more. I don't know. I don't know how long this going pretty. I mean, it's ten matches, so. Come on, I can't fight two characters at once. That's ridiculous. I wonder if I actually need to or if they're just like... Oh, hang on. Oops. You gotta throw your opponent into the basket. Okay, that sounds... Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll see how this goes. Um. Uh, I guess these will do. Okay, there's two of them. That doesn't seem fair. Ah. ah, okay, you gotta... Oh my goodness. to escape a grab once you get grabbed, which is a bit weird. No! Bam, 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 bam. Oop. Ah. Oh, okay, that is a way to escape a grab, apparently. <laughs> anyway, I'm awesome. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, she's definitely just floating there. That's really weird. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think if we're going to do a whole Grand Prix, it's going to be about the same length as the Yoshi one I did, so. Mechanica! Look at that cutie! Mechanica's adorbs. The Scrapyard Scrapper. Uh, Thunderbird and... I reckon Parasol, probably. I haven't quite figured out which one of the ones are the best to use in certain situations, but still. I feel kind of bad about beating up Mechanica, she's so cute.
you to do Me mechanical, bang. Bang. Yeah. Yeah, I can probably do a whole Grand Prix. It's not that hard. Now that I've switched over to the um non motion controls. You see she's floating in midair, she's not sitting on a chair. So I guess I guess that's just one of her powers. Maybe I mean it doesn't look like her hair's holding her up either. So I guess she's just floating. <laughs> that's right. I'm the elegance of uh, embodiment of elegance and style. That's me. <laughs> uh, yeah, these will do. Yeah, come here, Misango. Bam. So yeah, that was pretty easy. Um. So yeah, this is on the easiest difficulty. So I wasn't expecting stuff to be hard, but with the motion control, some stuff is kind of hard. Uh. Let's switch back to Chiller. I think it's one of those. I think that's like a guardian spirit or something? I don't know. I don't know, that feels a little... I don't know, I, I, I hope they had, like... Consultation with people who... Are of guardian spirit cultures or whatever, when they set this up. It feels a little... A little appropriative. But... Maybe it's not, I don't know. Um... I didn't work on this game, I don't know who worked on it, so... Uh... Semi-final? Okay, so we're nearly at the end here, I think. Hey, it's Springman! The guy off the cover! I think he's the guy on the cover. Yeah, on the cover you have Springman and it looks like Ribbing Girl. I guess he's like the main character, sort of. Take that, spring man. That's what you deserve for being made of springs. I don't really understand why everyone has weird springy arms and hair and stuff in this game. Like, it's not really explained why everyone's bodies are so strange. <laughs> like, if you look at the like normal people in the background there, they don't have any of this going on. They just have regular arms. So it's it's just the fighters that are like this for some reason. Ah! Oh, he's got like whirlpool propeller thingies. Why did I say whirlpool? Propeller thingies that, that make a little whirlwind. Whirlwind, that's why I said whirlpool. Okay. 
Anyway, goodbye, Springman. I guess the final is next, and that should be the end. Yes, Ben Patel. <laughs> yep. Here we go, grand finale. The commish. So I need to punch that guy, I guess. Um, I guess I'll equip the Thunderbirds and the uh, Chiller. Okay, his hands look a bit bigger than mine. Doesn't seem fair. But I'm punching him a lot, so it, it, it turns out it is quite fair. Whoa! Is he in like some sort of panic mode, limit break sort of thing? Is that scary? Oh, okay, it's not that scary. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess I'll keep these arms, they worked out fine. Yeah, the right stick's not used for anything, so you can keep your, like, right thumb on the base buttons, which is kind of handy. Ah! Um, but the left stick's obviously used for movement, and I think the D-pad, or, you know, the thing that's like a D-pad that you have on one of these, is used for something as well, so I don't know about that. Ooh, goodbye, Vex Brass. See, she's definitely not sitting on anything. She's just floating in the air somehow. Yeah, award ceremony. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, I, 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 I'm awesome. Yes, I'm an arms legend. Okay. I'm ready. Yay! God, she's cute. Look at that pretty girl. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so an arms Grand Prix is not that much play gameplay, really. So I can pretty much do a whole one in one go like that, without too much trouble. I kind of thought it'd be longer, but it wasn't. Uh, okay, so I unlocked the ability to play ranked matches? I didn't know I couldn't do that before. Alright. I got some badges too, I assume. Hoops. Uh, knocked over Bark. I think that's the little robot dog. Uh, pillars, yep. Yeah, I want a Grand Prix. Good for me. Okay, um, well, I guess that's arms. I mean, you can play more of these. Um, it's kind of like in Smash where you have the classic mode, you can play it with all the different characters, that kind of thing. Uh, you've got a versus mode here, which I assume can be just multiplayer, that sort of thing. Uh, various online matches as well. Uh, and yeah, you get the idea. Um, it looks fun. It's definitely easier to play if you don't use the motion control gimmick. Um, but I think it's a bit more fun if you play with the motion control gimmick. So that's a bit of a strange decision that they've made. <laughs> what a decision, just how it came out. Anyway, um, I like it. Um, I don't know if I like the music as much as, say, Splatoon's when it comes to newer Nintendo IPs, but... It's alright, um, and it's a, it's, it's a pretty fun game, I reckon. Um, I like it. Um, I might get better at playing it with the motion controls, which would be good because I like them and they're fun, but harder. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's ARMS. That's my first look at that game. Seems pretty good to me. I like it. Um, tell me I know what to expect. It's fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching.